Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers, and xn is a convergent sequence of real numbers, such that a is less than or equal to xn is less than or equal to b, for all positive integers n. Then, a is less than or equal to the limit of xn, which is less than or equal to b. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose xn and yn are convergent sequences of real numbers, such that xn is less than or equal to yn for all positive integers n. Then the limit of xn is less than or equal to the limit of yn. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, to start out the proof, let's first note that there is a sequence an such that an is equal to a for all positive integers n. And also, there is a sequence bn such that bn is equal to b for all positive integers n. Right, these two sequences, an and bn, are constant sequences. Right, every term in the sequence an is a, and every term in the sequence bn is b. Right. And if you recall, we know the limit of a constant sequence, right? The limit of an is just going to be a, and the limit of bn is just going to be b. And now we're going to show for all positive integers n, an is less than or equal to xn, and for all positive integers n, xn is less than or equal to an. And to do that, well, let's give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n. Well, since this statement is true, this means that this statement holds for every positive integer. So it must work for our positive integer n. So taking n to be the n we have here, it follows that a is less than or equal to xn is less than or equal to b. Also, we know that this statement is true. So this statement works for every positive integer. So it must work for our positive integer n. So taking n to be the n we have here, we have that a n is equal to a. And also, we know that this statement is true. So this statement works for every positive integer. And since it works for every positive integer, it must work for our positive integer n. So taking n to be the n we have here, we have that b n is equal to b. So what we see here is that a n equals a, which is less than or equal to x n. So a n is less than or equal to x n. And also, we see that xn is less than or equal to b, which is equal to bn, so xn is less than or equal to bn. So now, let's put this together. We see that under the assumption n is a positive integer, it follows that an is less than or equal to xn. Since n was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all positive integers n, an is less than or equal to xn. And similarly, we see that under the assumption n is a positive integer, we have that xn is less than or equal to bn. Since n was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all positive integers n, xn is less than or equal to bn. And now we can apply level one. Since an and xn are both convergent sequences and an is less than or equal to xn for all positive integers n, by level one, this tells us that the limit of an must be less than or equal to the limit of xn. Applying level 1 again, we know that xn and bn are both convergent sequences, and xn is less than or equal to bn for all positive integers n. So by level 1, this tells us that the limit of xn is less than or equal to the limit of bn. But now we see that a is equal to the limit of an, which is less than or equal to the limit of xn, which is less than or equal to the limit of bn, which is equal to b. So this tells us that this inequality is true. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.